All of us have studied factorials. Now, one of the commonly used extension to define factorial function is the gamma function. Now, gamma function is represented by this alphabet, which actually is the capital letter gamma from the Greek alphabet. And it is defined as integral from 0 to infinite x to the power z minus 1 into e to the power minus x dx. Now, we'll explore how this function is related to factorials. Now, suppose I have a gamma function, which is defined as gamma z plus 1. And I can write it as 0 to infinite. And in place of z, I'll write z plus 1. So I can write it as x to the power z into e to the power minus x dx. Now, if I'll use integration by parts, so I'll take it as first function. And I'll take it as second function. I can write it as x to the power z as it is and then integral of e to the power minus x will be e to the power minus x minus 1 and then it will be from 0 to infinite and then minus 0 to infinite. Now differentiation of first function so there will be z into x to the power z minus 1 and then integral of the second one which is e to the power minus x upon minus 1 into dx. So I can write it as minus x to the power z upon e to the power x so from the limits 0 to infinite and then minus I'll take this minus z out so I can write plus z and this is 0 to infinite x to the power z minus 1 into e to the power minus x into dx now I'll put these limits in the given function so if I'll put plus infinite, then I can write it as limit x tends to infinite x to the power z upon e to the power x and then minus and minus will be plus and there will be 0 upon e to the power 0 and here I can write it as z into integral of 0 to infinite x to the power z minus 1 e to the power minus x into dx. Now from the concept used in limits, we know that the value of this limit is simply 0. So simply what I'll get is 0 plus 0. So there'll be z into. Now if I look at this function closely, then it is nothing but it is 0 to infinite x to the power z minus 1 e to the power minus x, which is nothing but gamma z. So the formula is gamma z plus 1 is equal to z into gamma z. Now, suppose I take this z as some natural number n, then simply I can write gamma n plus 1 is n into gamma n. Now, I can write gamma n as again n minus 1 into gamma n minus 1. And then I can also write it as n, n minus 1, n minus 2. And this is gamma n minus 2. It will continue up to gamma 1. Now what's gamma 1? So for gamma 1, all I need to do is I'll just need to put value of z as 1. So if I'll put value of z as 1, I can write gamma 1 as 0 to infinite x to the power 0 into e to the power minus x into dx. So there'll be e to the power minus x upon minus 1 from 0 to infinite. Now if I'll put infinite, so there'll be e to the power minus infinite minus 1 and plus, this is e to the power 0. Now we know that e to the power minus infinite is 0 and e to the power 0 is 1. So simply this value will be 1. So I can write it as n, n minus 1, n minus 2 and it goes all the way up to 3 to n 1. So there'll be factorial n. So this is how gamma function is related to the factorial function. If you like the video, consider subscribing and sharing it with someone you know who might benefit from it. Also, the best way to navigate any topic is through a playlist. Simply go to the channel page, click playlist and select the topic you wish to study.